This episode of Ike Sermons is brought to you by the Smoke of the Week. Grape Rape. Grape Rape has the palate of roofies and jello pudding and the essence of chlorine and urine. Grape rape, you will get high, but you won't remember it, and your ass will hurt. I was so disappointed when I woke up this morning because I woke up my whole sorry life every following day is progressively worse than the previous day which means I wake up every morning to the worst day of my life you know I think they do make a pill for that but I don't know where to get a hold of any sign of it. So I was driving a loved one to work this morning. Um, I had the day off. There's a guy, just kidding. And uh, as I'm taking him to work on the highway, uh, somebody in one of those type of vehicles everybody has now, it's like a cross between a SUV and a car. All kinds of room in front of me. They cut me off real sharp. Um, Because I suppose 73 miles an hour in a 70 mile an hour zone is too slow. But they cut me off really closely. I let it go. I was like, whatever. You're in the fucking rush. We left on time. Then uh, one of those jacked up monster truck with the fucking balls hanging off the back alpha male blue lives matter gun nutter micro penis trucks flies up on my left and cuts them off okay and i was like "Uh aha you got cut off back and that truck took the exit we were taking on now the guy that cut me off really close didn't even take the exit i thought he was cutting me off to get to that exit before me for whatever reason. Like there's a trophy at the end of the fucking highway or some shit. But anyway, we turn off the exit onto the stretch of road I need to get to. And this other (laughs) micro penis, big old white boy truck. I look in my rear view mirror. He is on my ass, man. I can't even see his fucking headlights. So I kind of look at him in the rear view mirror because he's close enough. I can see his face. And I'm just like, dude, please don't. I look up again a few seconds later. He's even closer. So I uh, kind of jam my brakes. Not enough to make a big skid mark or anything like that, but enough to slow me up significantly. And then all I hear behind me is, because the fucker almost runs into me. I mean, I know that's kind of playing the same game, and I'm kind of wrong for it, but he started it. So then, uh, I guess his panties wadded up, because he, fast as fuck, zips around me, and then tries to do the same thing to me. And of course, I'm paying attention, so I really come nowhere close to hitting him. (laughs) <laughs> and I look in the, the right rear view mirror there's no cars coming so I just go around them and kind of almost trade paint with them going back around like whatever dude fuck you man sorry about your penis and as I look in the rear view mirror this fucker was so obsessed with cutting me jamming, cutting me off and jamming his brakes back on me that he missed his turn and he had to back up like 30 feet turn into a fucking gas station (laughs) i wonder how he's gonna spin his story at work (laughs) 
you know, I was thinking this morning, and I'm, I never really was a huge Obama fan, but I was thinking just for a split second, but it's kind of fucked up that they got this clown, uh, this clown ass president, and once this part of history is over, and you look at all them pictures of presidents in a row, it's like you've got this clown next to Obama, who, you know, I thought he did okay for the most part, but he did, like, support more motherfuckers than anybody, kind of shit on Flint, and, uh, actually definitely did shit on Flint, uh, and he blew up a lot of kids, but he could at least make a complete sentence, actually he could make a whole paragraph and keep it about one subject, um, but this clown ass motherfucker is gonna be the picture right next to him, and I'm like, that's kind of fucked up, but then right after that I thought, actually that's fucking awesome, that's some accurate shit, Obama was the first, you know, and I'm not even going to say necessarily black president because I've got a very similar genetic makeup. My father was black. My mother was white. And uh, I hear a lot of times from both sides, you know, nigga, you ain't even black. Well, sir, you're not white. When actually I'm kind of both. Either way. Obama was the first president that wasn't identified as white. And these motherfuckers lost their shit so much about that that they put this orange motherfucker in here. I mean, it's not so much that he's orange. I'm not trying to be racist against orange and shit, but the dude's a fucking moron. And that shows, you know how much this shit is fucked up. So, you know, and then you have, uh, listen, listen, as being half honky myself, white folks, I love you, but uh, listen to your black friends, okay? Everybody's not pulling a fucking race card. You know, I have white friends that are pretty liberal, and they're like, this is not who we are. And I wager you haven't read very many history books. Or you definitely read the wrong ones. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. And I'm definitely not libertarian. Libertarianism, it, it does have some merits. Okay, and I don't think there are many ideologies without at least... Uh, pinch or even a dash of libertarianism in. But complete libertarianism uncaged? That's some crazy shit. If you don't think so, you truly haven't thought about it without a bias. Okay? Libertarianism is like it should it's, it's like a zoo animal. It's fun to come and see it. It's nice to look at it. I'll leave it right there. Yeah, I'm probably a, a bit too addicted to my phone because my phone went down the other day. It finally took a shit. I've been... I cracked my phone like a long fucking time ago. But I'm the type that'll like ride a car and won't get another one so that bitch is in the fucking dirt. But it finally gave out the other day the phone. And uh, I went like a whole day and a half without a phone. And uh, it kind of fucked with my um, my mentality. That's some sad shit. I mean, you can do everything on these phones nowadays. That's why I think people get kind of addicted to them. You know, I'm waiting for the phone that'll like wash your car, give you a blow job. Pay its own bill for ya. The following weird random fact is brought to you by lack of medication. When I was pretty young, about six years old, 
we had one of those garages that was really old. It was shaped like a box, but the roof had a slant to it for, you know, so the rain could run off and the snow could slide off. And the neighbor's fence was right behind it, almost up against the back of the garage. So right around six years old, I got the idea to take my big wheel and I drug it up onto that fence, probably 10 feet off the ground, something like that. And it's got that slant to it, so it's a ramp. So I'm pedaling my big wheel up <laughs> the ramp because I'm going to jump my mother's car. And of course, when I got to the end of the ramp, I just tumbled off and landed on the hood of the car. Actually, it may explain a lot. Lack of medication. You'll probably die before you should. Immigration. Undocumented migrants. Undocumented immigrants? Is that the word? I'm high. And they want to block people from coming here so badly that they want to put up a wall. And like that's actually going to stop some shit. You know all them cartels are going to hire a dude named Kyle now. He'll just come punch holes in it. Yeah, that'll work. Cartels have billions and billions and billions of dollars. What will they ever do with those billions and billions and billions of dollars to come up with a technology? To beat a wall. Thank you. Is that why you want to create a space force? Stop the other aliens, huh? Because you know the space aliens bringing them. Good. Bottom line is we are our own extinction events. Go and play. Big thanks to all viewers and much love and a nice Christian side of unless you don't want it because I respect boundaries to all my subscribers. Like, hate, share, ring the bell.